Welcome students, welcome to the psychology and language learning tutorial. In this moment we are going to review some aspects about the first language acquisition. We are going to start with the, what is language acquisition? Language acquisition is a process by which humans acquire the capacity to perceive and comprehend language as well as to produce and use words to communicate. In the language, there are some tools including syntax, phonetics, and vocabulary. Uh, language acquisition usually refers to first language acquisition, which studies infants' acquisition of their native language. There is a difference between first language acquisition and second language acquisition. We are going to review the main differences between this first language and the second language acquisition. Um, which are the theories of the language acquisition? We have three main um, theoretical uh, hypotheses about the first language acquisition. They are imitation, nativeness of behaviorists, that is based on the empirist of a behavioral approach. We have the innateness or mentalist, that is based on the rationalist or mentalist approach. And we have the cognition, that is based on the cognitive psychological approach. Uh, there is a um, view about um, the first language acquisition that is connectionist. That differs sharply from the Chomsky and Ignatius theory that they hypothesize that language acquisition does not require a separate model of the mind. We are going to start with the first theory that is the imitation, nativeism or behaviorist perspective. This theory was very influential in the 40s and the 60s. Uh, the main figure of this theory is Skinner. And this uh, behavior, this um, theory is based on the imitation. Um, also, the, um, Skinner mentioned that the language acquisition is a process of, is a process of experience. Um, in order to know how the languages function, uh, Skinner proposed um, the stimulus response process, that is a stimulus response feedback and reinforcement. We have here the step by the step of the first language acquisition in the behaviorist perspective. It's imitation, repetition, memorization, controlled reading, and reinforcement. Um, the reinforcement can be positive or could be negative. The popular view about this theory is that the children can learn to speak by imitating and utilizing hair around them and analogy. The children strengthen their responses by the repetitions, corrections, and other reactions that adults provide as language practice is practice-based. The main focus of this theory is that the child to behave with the help of mechanical drills and exercises, and the learning is controlled by the conditions under which it takes place, and the children learn in the same conditions whether they behave. What are the evidence used to criticize this theory? We have two evidence. The first evidence is based on the kind that the language children produce. The first piece of evidence taken from the way children handle irregular grammatical patterns. Gradually, they switch over to the process of analogy, a reasoning process that they start working out for themselves and while encountering irregular items. There is a stage when they replace forms based on the regular patterns of language. The second evidence to criticize this theory is that is based on the way children seem unable to imitate other grammatical construction exactly and the best known demonstration of this principle is provided by the american psycholinguistic david mcneil in 1933 child nobody don't like me mother don't say don't both likes me this is an example when the, when children likes to use the negation they don't use the correct grammatical um, structures but the children, but mother tries to learn the children to use correctly the second, the negation, and just is just repetition and uh, exercises and drilling. The language acquisition is more a matter of maturation than of imitation. We are going to continue with the second um, theory, that is the innateness theory, that is proposed by Noam Chomsky. Noam Chomsky says that children are born with an innate Property for language acquisition, that means that our brain is naturally, is really natural for language in the sense when children are exposed to speech, certain general principles for discovering and structuring language automatically begin to operate. That means that we born with an innate capacity for language 
development. Chomsky theorized this language acquisition device, the LAT, in terms of the brains. This uh, Chomsky says that we have a, we born with a universal grammar. We born with that principles and parameters that all human languages have. Children exploit this uh, language acquisition device to make sense of the utterances heard around it. And of course, we have all the grammar in this universal grammar in this theory that he proposed. According to Chomsky, the presence of universal grammar in the brains to children allow them to deduce the structure of the United language from mere exposure. That means that all children born with this universal grammar and according to the place where they live, they start to develop their language. For example, if they are living in Spain, they are going to produce uh, Spanish. If they live in England, they are going to produce English. They are living in Russia, they are going to produce German. But all children uh, born with the same principles about all the languages. What is uh, why this theory is criticized? This theory is criticized because of the role of the speech cannot be ruled out in providing a means of enable children to work out of the regularities of language for themselves. It has proved difficult to formulate the detailed properties of LAT in an uncontroversial manner in the light of the change in generality linguistic theory. The concept of love is unsupported by evolutionary anthropology, which shows a gradual adaptation of the human body to the use of language rather than a sudden appearance of a complete set of binary parameters. Also, this theory has several hypothetical constructs such as movement, empty categories, complex underlying structures, and strict binary branching that cannot possibly be acquired from any amount of input. Mentalist emphasis on the rule learning is over enthusiastic. Remember that input is all the information that any person can acquire. The universal grammar approach, according to the Noam Chomsky, I'm going to explain what is this universal grammar. Focus on answer three basic questions about human language. What constitutes knowledge of language? How knowledge of language is acquired? How is knowledge of language put to use? Knowledge of language stands in universal grammar for the subconscious mental representation of language which underlines of language use. What constitutes knowledge of language and how it is acquired? Universal grammar claims that all human beings inherit a universal set of principles and parameters which control the shape human language can take. Chomsky proposed principles are unvarying and applied to all human languages similar to one another. In contracts, there are some parameters process a limit number of open values which characterize differences between language. The biologically endowed universal grammar equipped the children naturally with a clear set of expectations about the shape of the language according to a predetermined timetable and atrophies with age. Some scientists and psychological criticize the universal grammar theory because or they say that linguistically this approach primary concern is only syntax. Semantics, pragmatics and discourse are completely excluded from this universal grammar. A universal grammar exclusively with a developmental linguistic root, social and psychological variables are ignored. The universal grammar approach is just methodological. This theory is preoccupied with modeling of competence. We are going to review about this cognitive theory. It's the third theory that we are going to review. Uh, which is the main argument of this cognitive theory? It said that this, uh, the language acquisition must be viewed with the context of a child intellectual development. That the children can use linguistic structures. They need first to have developed the concept ability to make relative adjustments. The most influential figure of this cognitive theory is uh, Jean Piaget. Uh, he proposed the model of cognitive development and in this cognitive development, the language development. It is highly difficult to show precise correlations between specific cognitive behaviors and linguistic features at the very early stage of language acquisition as the children become linguistically and cognitively more advanced in the course of time. 
This is a critique for the cognitive theory that some scientists make to the Piaget theory of the cognitive. What is the input theory? This theory was uh, developed in the 70s and it's focusing on the maternal input. Uh, what is the main argument of this theory is that the parents do not talk to their children in the same way that they talk to other adults and seem to be capable of adapting their language to give the child maximum opportunity to interact and learn my figure. This means that parents mm, have to talk to the children as child, as children, not as considered as the children as an adult. Mother or father have to provide the children all the input. Remember that input is all the information that any person can acquire. And it's supposed that this, uh, with, if we acquire more input, we are able to communicate um, more easily, quickly. And um, the utterance is that the parents are considerable and subconsciously simplified, especially with respect to grammar and meaning and centers are shorted. Does mean that this, the parents can speak with children in a short way. We don't have to give more explanation about grammar or vocabulary. Just talk and the student and children can acquire this information. What is the connectionism? The connection is uh, differs from the Chomsky theory. They said that uh, the language acquisition in terms of how children acquire links or connections between words and phrases and the situation in which they occur. The connectionist theory said that children are exposed to many thousand opportunities to learn words or phrases. The connectionists mean that we have to connect, we have to make a connection, an association uh, with the child's mind between the words and phrase and what it represents in a social environment. Thank you very much.